Hi there, this is gonna be a general love reading for the sign of Leo. Hi Leos, this is gonna be for the middle part of October. This is Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs as well as a cross watcher of the Leo. All right, here we go, second half of October. Leos. Feels pretty relaxing your energy when I tap in. Tap, tap, tap it in. Like sweetie said, honey. Chillaxin, I see. I mean, that's a phenomenal energy, to be quite honest with you. Chillin'. Relaxing. Um, trust. No wonder you guys feel like that. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. You guys are just in, like, relaxed mode because you trust. They're not telling you to trust. It's like confirmation that you are. You know how you can tell you're out of alignment? Is when everything's a shit show. When you're in alignment, everything's smooth. It's not perfect, but it's smooth. Everything just sort of kind of lines up. And it's just this step and that step and everything just sort of lines up. It's trusting. You guys are trusting. You're trusting the process. You're... Yeah, you're trusting the process. I was gonna say it could be something else, but it feels like you're just like locked in to this energy of like, <sighs> namaste. You have gateway. You have the Arcturus gateway that happened <clears throat> yesterday the 17th arcturus star star in the sun yeah get together do its little thing sends down healing light codes gateway opens up helps to propel quantum leaps and healing basically so gateway opened up for you I just, it's almost like you guys don't need a reading. <laughs> I'm just like sitting here like, I mean, you have leadership. Like you're, you're just like doing everything you're supposed to. I don't know what to tell you. I, I, <laughs> okay, so here we go. Here we go. Leadership. Leaders of the pack is what I just heard. So you guys are in your alpha energy, huh? Leo. You're you're the lion, sitting in an, a very alpha state, but not in an aggressive, non in the flow state. Not look at you, hummingbird. That's what you guys are doing. You're rising up, zip, 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 just kind of like really lighthearted. Zip, 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 zip. You know the hummingbird's about being present and just like being in the moment you also have the dragon wow i'm gonna read to you the dragon oh uh, that's a spirit one the dragon how gorgeous i want to read that to you hold on now So the dragon is seeing one's most true self and balancing the ego. That's what you guys did. The dragon sees everything. Its essence has been with us since before our first breath and will be there at our last. It watches us navigate the external world as well as our inner world. When dragon energy is awakened, we are courageous, visionary, and can easily drop into witness consciousness. It is almost as if we are traveling with a great friend inside of ourselves. When we look in the mirror deep into our eyes, we may even glimpse the self behind the self, the one who is watching us. This is the power of the dragon breathing transformative fire into every cell of our bodies. Witnessing this omnipotent energy, even for a brief moment, helps us surrender and let go. We let the dragon guide us. We hop on its back, difficult terrain. Oh wait, I'm sorry. We hop on its back for a ride, and as we traverse even the most difficult terrain, the dragon's eyes see beauty everywhere. 
It is said that if a yogi does not see beauty in the world, their agni is dim. Agni is described as inner fire or sacred intelligence. May even just the mention of the dragon stir the embers of intelligence within you. So the dragon is about the third chakra. The subtle energy of the dragon lives at the navel center in the Manipura chakra. Manipura translates to the city of hidden gems and behind its gates burns the fire of our transformation and digestion. The sages believe health of the fire at the navel center is what governs our ability to clearly see both the inner and outer dimensions. This is really big for you guys. You guys are the dragon. You also have the camel too, but the camel I feel like is just chilled, kind of just going at its own pace. The, the, the camel is not in a rush and you see that new moon? This is a new moon right now. We just had that Libra new moon. Absolutely gorgeous energy for you guys. It, it can feel it. You just feel relaxed. You feel aligned. You feel tapped in. You feel grounded and centered. Six of Pentacles, you're in balance. Six of Pentacles is about giving and receiving, right? You're no longer doing this, which is I think for many of you what kept you off balance. This is about hanging on to things that are old not letting things go. Remember in the dragon thing I just read, it was talking about letting go. So it was about letting go of control, trusting the situation, and now look, it's free flowing. Again, that's how you know you're in the flow because things just come and it's easy. It's not difficult and hard and, oh my God, I'm struggling. It's no. 10 of wands came out in reverse. Upright, it's struggles, burdens, holy fuck in reverse it talks about like freeing yourself of this burden you guys have freed yourself from this burden of control and of not trusting the the process and i think the second you took your hands off of the wheel things changed yeah look at that sitting pretty now holy shit i mean if that's not the epitome of relaxed i don't know what is look at him he's got his leg crossed he's got this dog here just they're lounging king of pentacles could be taurus virgo capricorn but really it's about any energy male or female very balanced and grounded that's exactly what i felt now because you're going to be that energy you're going to attract in a king of pentacles person because you attract what you are knight of swords something happens quickly there's also news or communication that comes in quick you have the ace of swords came out in reverse i don't read reversals but they're telling me to read them See how this particular card, this Ace of Swords, the mind's like a spiral. So I always feel like it's just being complicated in the mind, right? Not thinking clearly, overthinking. So in reverse, it tells me it's a clear mind. No longer overthinking. You have the Knight of Cups too. Somebody has a crush on you or is this, it's a secret admirer energy. Because you know why? That's gorgeous energy, yeah? To see somebody that's so f fucking aligned. I mean, I don't know how to put it it's attractive it's contagious somebody here has a crush it would be definitely feels like a secret admirer i don't know if you know who they are and if you do know who they are they haven't made it known is what it feels like they haven't made it known seven of pentacles with the page of cups so the seeds that were planted see that seeds that were planted are finally growing you also have the page of cups which is the gorgeous card that talks about when pigs fly so the seeds that you planted maybe you were like it's not going to happen they're not going to work or i'm not going to get this i'm not going to get that and that type of an energy of the worry right not trusting it created a block and it's almost like the second we say, I'm going to trust, I'm going to let it go. It's going to be what it is. And you just allow your hands off the wheel. It manifests. Look at this card. She's in her place of peace in this bubble. Nothing can shake her. That's exactly what it is. What is this? The chariot and forward progress and movement. It can also be a Cancerian, but it's forward progress and movement. And the reason that we can move forward now or things are moving forward now is because you've released the reins i mean 
if you look at this card, he's on the top of the chariot, but he's not hanging on to the reins. There are no reins. It's spirit moving this, right? It's being intuitively guided. That's gorgeous energy. This is amazing. I, I told you, I could feel it. You guys were... I can kind of feel it as soon as I touch the cards, what direction spirit wants me to go. And don't get me wrong, this may not be for every single person. This may be for two people. But something tells me it's for a, 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 quite a few of you. It's for quite a few of you. Now, what we're going to do is in this extended that you can purchase by clicking below, we'll do a whole other spread and then some Oracle cards too and see what else we get. But I want to thank you for all of your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions here on YouTube. Follow me on Instagram, xi underscore missy underscore xi. And also, I am no longer taking personal readings just for right now. Hopefully, by the time I do your November readings, it'll be open again. But I want to thank you guys so very much, okay, for all of your patience. See you later. Leos, bye.